came to the U.S. as a young adult, right? Like to yes. go to school and making that adjustment. So talk about a little bit of that because this really plays into Blended Collective and what you've built as a business in all yeah. this different culture and diversity coming from, um, from you know, the background and the heritage and nationality that you have, then coming here, then going back there and then coming back here. You know, that's really yeah. interesting. And the different, like you said, a decade can make yeah. a difference in being away from like your home. So what was your culture shock when you came here as a young, you know, fresh coming to like America? What was some differences that you noticed right away? You know, the, the biggest difference, and there were so many, mm -hmm. because Europe is just, it's just so different than, um, than the U.S. But Coming here, I had to do my last year of high school in the States, actually. And so the biggest comparison that I kept drawing is how different high school was in Germany and how different it was here in the U.S., right? And so getting adjusted to that in my senior year where everybody's already connected and you have all these little clicks and, you know, here I am, the, the girl from Germany, <laughs> um, you know, trying to join the mix. But that to me was a big culture shock just in terms of... Um, the whole school system, you know, the what was um, the education. main difference that you noticed? I would say even the system in terms of how, you know, so the German schools are very structured in the sense that you have specific classes that you take with the same group of people from fifth grade all the way through graduation, which at the time was, you know, 13 years mm -hmm. of high school yeah. that changed to 12 um, over the years. But, you know, you sort of grow with that same group of people all those years and you have all these different classes and there's a few different selectives or select um, electives mm -hmm. um, that you take that are still sort of in that space of straightforward education. What's not straightforward to me at the time when I came to the U.S. were the classes that you could take that were so creative in terms of like studying psych, you know, psychology. I took a psychology class when I came here and I was in high school. You, we don't have that in Germany. You can't mm. take those classes to see if that's even a career path that you want to take, right? Mm. Um, sort of from that level, the type of classes, the education was different, but also just that you're thrown into a class with freshmen and senior and juniors mm. and sophomores and kind of everybody, mm. um, even though everybody's on a different level of, of education, if you will, right? Yeah. And so that I think was one of the biggest, um, biggest differences and just how everything's done. I mean, I remember being in a math class and I was like, well, this is how I got my solution. And the teacher's like, well, you know, this is how we do it. Can you please show us your solution? Because this is not how we do it, but you've got the right answer. So right. Um, you know, you're obviously right. And so that I think even just looking back from an entrepreneur um, perspective is there's so many different ways to doing things. Absolutely. Right. And you can get to the same path using a lot of different methods, but that doesn't mean that it's incorrect. Right. And we see that in entrepreneurship all the time. I mean, things that we don't really know the answer to sometimes we just trial and error and it's figuring out things and we see what works and what doesn't work. And we do more of what works. Right. Um, as long as we keep our eye on that North star and that destination that we want to get to. Right. 